Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today, we're gonna extend our knowledge of extrusion. So what I'm gonna do here, we can either go up here into this polycube, make this polycube, or we can go shift, right click, go right into cube. We've got a lot of features here for modeling. So when you're not selecting an object, you can model it up. So let's hit that, let's go cube. And if you wanna go into your attribute editor polycube, you can affect your subdivisions here or you can hit T and affect your subdivisions here as well. So let's just put a few subdivisions in here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to extrude across a face off the plane, off the face. We gotta make a curve though. So I'm gonna hit Q, I'm gonna go into curves. I'm gonna make a little, just clicking around and hit enter. Next thing we wanna do is we want to line this guy up so control vertex i'm going to take this and maybe even just rotate it a little bit so it's really so we really got it pointing on there you can run into problems if it's not really pointed on there nice and good i'm using really good terminology aren't i okay object mode and let's move it into place let's see what we got Let's see what we got. Are you on there somewhere there, buddy? Yeah, you're close. Let's go to the left a little bit. Now, if I used, if I used wireframe mode, we could really maybe see where it is here. Okay, that looks about, that looks pretty good. And now I'm moving the cube. Yeah, that'll work. Now, you doesn't necessarily need to touch it. <clears throat> but we want to get it where it's relatively perpendicular there, where we're really pointing at it, essentially. All right, we're set. Let's take this. Let's go into face mode. Let's choose this face first, order of operations. And then we're going to shift click or shift and marquee select. And then from there, we can hit control E, another shortcut. And that's what we get. Hold on, let me go to hardware or hardware texturing is what they call it. And then we get divisions. So we just add those divisions, <clears throat> excuse me, and you see our curve. For better or worse. <laughs> a little bit of, looks like we got a little few problems here. Uh, just the nature of the curve. So just play around with it. I think a lot of, I see a lot of folks saying that you can use it for tentacle. You can really use it for anything. Use your imagination and you'll be surprised. Um, this little blue thing, just while we're here, while we're in the manipulator, when you bring up the extrusion tool, you're gonna get the opportunity to extrude through the move tool, through the scale tool, through rotation. And then this will actually toggle you from local coordinates to world coordinates. So that's also another great option as well. Okay, so we're good there. Let's make another, let's make another uh, cube. Another cool thing too, while we're at it, is Q. Q takes your last key placement and allows you, not Q, sorry, G. G allows you, takes your last keystroke and allows you kind of a hot key into what you just did last, what your last key was. If it was extrude, then you can just G, 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 G all the way, all the way home, okay? But uh, it's, it's really for anything. So G is a really great tool, okay? At some point, I'm gonna have more, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have more um, budget <laughs> so that I can put graphics and things like that up there, okay. So with that said, let's go into object mode here. We're gonna select that, we're gonna get rid of that. Let's take this, let's add some subdivisions. I'm just gonna go here, add a couple subdivisions and show you another form of extruding or another way to extrude in a quick way. If you don't need to separate faces, this is a really good tool. So you just go into the move tool and you hit shift and you go up, done, but if you wanted later to, let's say, hit T and get into the controller and change the faces, it already starts going wonky on you. Changing divisions, it gets wonky. So I wouldn't use this for 
something like that. But certainly, if you need to make really quick, let's deselect this. Let's actually go in object mode and then deselect. And if you hit shift, right click, you can do another cube. I would say if you're doing something like this, if you're selecting, by the way, here's also another real cool way to select. Hit tab and then left click. Sorry, it's got to be got to be in face mode though or or some kind of mode. If you hit tab, you see the plus sign come up. Left click and you can just paint on here. So you don't have to shift click, shift click. This is a real game changer. Um if you didn't know it, it'll make a big big difference. Okay? So that's the only thing selected. All right. If you want to do a quick Let's say quick extrusion. I'm going to hit shift. You see the extrude? Now I'm going to resize it, resize it, hit W, change it, shift, extrude. Do it again. Do it again. And then real quick. I mean, you know, it's fast. You don't even need to look at your keyboard there. So that would be the good use for shift. Now, if you don't like shift and you say, I don't want that, I don't, I don't even like that on my, on my uh, cursor or shift or whatever, it's a very easy fix. You just double click here, go into smart duplicate settings and deselect it. Here's something kind of cool, shift drag to duplicate objects. Let's try it. I see this, I'm going to shift. You see where it says clone? <laughs> and I can shift drag to duplicate objects. So, so many wonderful features here in Maya, Maya 2018. You've come a long way, Maya. Good job. I like this shift drag to extrude components, so I'm gonna keep it. But again, just go into the move tool or even this tool, and it should also translate into both of those particular widget tools. All right, and lastly, I would say that if you wanna do if you want to do keeping the faces, I would just recommend, I'm going to do my tab and then shift, I'm oh, sorry, there, shift, come up. Wait, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Control E, now my manipulator comes up. I don't want to keep the faces on for this one. I'm going to turn them off and then we're going to go up. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you the dealio here. There it is. Now you can actually move these. Whereas in the other one, if you were to do it, you cannot move it. So if I were to just shift these and come up. Oops, oops, I selected that one. Let's not select that one and come up. If I were to select one of these and try to move it, it stays together. You see how they stay, the faces stay together? So, yeah, there you go. So just a quick recap, painting, tab, use tab. G key uses the last key. Those are really good hotkeys. Those are some really, really good hotkeys. And also, the new marking, well, not a new marking menu, but certainly something that I haven't mentioned before, which is um, shift, right click, and you can start making your objects immediately. You don't have to fuss about with any kind of shelves. The more you can use your marking menus, the better. This is vertex face so that you can take a look at your, your geometry to see if it's in good shape. We can talk about that and a future video perhaps, but I just wanted to add a little bit of extra knowledge there with extrusion. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much. And if you are enjoying the videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're plugging along, but we're trying to get these videos out so that we can help add to the wonderful knowledge that is Maya.
2018. Have a beautiful day.